hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today we are going to do a tutorial on how to create product bundles in shopify in this video we will show you how to connect your shopify store to a supplier how to import and add products to your shopify store and lastly we will also show you all the steps for creating product bundles so watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps this is Shopify's home page. Use the Start Free Trial button to sign up or else click here on the Login button. This is the login page of Shopify. From here you can easily log in by using your Apple, Facebook or Google account. Or else here enter your registered email address and then click on the Continue with Email button. On the next page here enter Password and then click on the login button and after successfully logging in you will be taken to your dashboard to do a demonstration of how to add product bundles to your Shopify store we need to first add some products to our Shopify store to do so click on the products tab in the left sidebar if you want to manually add the products to your Shopify store use this add your products button or else click here on the find products to sell button on this page you can find all the dropshippers print and demand service providers wholesalers and suppliers from where you can easily add the products to your shopify store you can scroll down the page to find a suitable supplier for your shopify store we are going ahead with cj dropshipping so we're clicking on it this is the description page of the CJ Dropshipping app on Shopify App Store. To continue further, click on the Add App button. Now on this page, you need to authorize this app to access your Shopify store. Scroll down the page and here under the Privacy Details section, you will see that this app can access customer information like contact information which includes name email address and phone number location which includes physical address geolocation and ip address and device information which includes browser and operating system this app can also access store owner information like contact information which includes name email address and phone number and location which includes the physical address also this app can access content provider information which includes email address IP address and browser and operating system and below you will see the permission details section this app can view customers view other data edit orders edit products and edit your online store so if you're okay with all these accesses and permissions then click on the install app button after successfully installing the app you will be taken to the cj dropshipping login page here enter the username or registered email address then here enter the password and then click on the sign in button after successfully logging in your cj dropshipping account Will be connected with your shopify store and here you will also see its confirmation now click on my cj at the top of the page this is the dashboard of my cj scroll down the page and you will see the product recommendation section we are going ahead with random products to add a listing hover your cursor on any product and click on the list button the product description page will open in a pop-up window where you can edit the product details before listing it we are going ahead without changing anything so click on the list it now button it might take some time to list it on your shopify store and after successful listing you will see the confirmation message go ahead and add more products to your shopify store after adding products come back to your shopify store page to check whether the products have been successfully listed or not on your shopify store 
Click on the products tab in the left sidebar. And here you can see that the products are listed on your Shopify store now. We will create product bundles with these three products. Now let's move on to creating product bundles. For this, you need to install a third party app to your store. On the top search bar, type product bundle and search for it. You will be taken to the Shopify App Store page. On this page, you can see that there are more than 1500 apps that you can use to create a product bundle. You can scroll down the page and find a suitable app by comparing these apps. Here we are going ahead with this one. Click on it and you will be taken to the app's description page. You can scroll down the page and you will see the pricing section. This app has two membership plans. The first plan is the free plan, in which you will get unlimited bundles, customizable widget, bundle widget, Shopify POS, custom product images, discount conditions, and volume discounts. The second plan is the premium plan, which is at $6.99 per month, in which you will get mix and match, variant level bundles, landing pages, bundles listing, bundle short codes, custom bundle image, discount in cart, free shipping and funnels. Now scroll up the page and then click on the add app button. On this page you need to authorize this app to access your Shopify store. You can scroll down this page to see what access and permissions are you going to provide to the app. And if you're okay with all these accesses and permissions, then click on the install app button. After installing the app, you will be taken to this page, where you can create and edit bundles to boost your sales and increase your store's average order value. To create a bundle, click here on the Create Bundle button. Now in the pop-up window, you need to select the bundle preset. There are three bundle presets. The classic bundle in which you can give your customers a discount when they purchase specific products. The mix and match bundle in which you can allow your customers to build their own bundle based on their requirements. But this is for the premium plan. And lastly is volume discount in which you can give site-wide or product-specific discounts when customers buy in bulk. You can continue with any of these presets. We are going ahead with the classic bundle. Now on this page you need to fill all the required fields. Here enter the bundle name. Next here enter the title of this bundle. Next enter a description for the bundle. Then is the total price summary. This is an advanced feature, so leave it with the default input. Next is the call to action. Here enter a text which will be displayed in the add to cart button in the bundle. Next is the text under button. Here enter a text which will be displayed under the add to cart button. Now here enter the priority sequence. Bundler applies discounts based on the priority sequence. The bundle with the most products should have the highest priority. Scroll down and you will see the discount section. Here enter the percentage discount for this bundle. Scroll more and you will see the discounted products in bundle section. To add products in this bundle, click on the select products button. In the pop-up window, select the products that you want to add to this bundle and then click on the Add button. After successfully adding the products, it will be shown here. And from here, you can change the quantity in the bundle. And once you're done with everything, click on the Save Bundle button and your product bundle will be created. So these were all the steps to create a product bundle on Shopify. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to create product bundles in Shopify. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. 
If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.